let's talk about the two biggest mistakes that I typically see in beginning singers and the solutions. Plus, we will do one easy exercise and then I will show you how to apply it to your songs. So, if you're a beginner, make sure to train correctly so that you don't build up bad habits that will take even longer to fix. Welcome back to another edition of Victoria's Victoria's Vocal Tips. 32 years of teaching voice, 44 years of studying voice, all different styles. My students have ranged from ultra beginners all the way through advanced touring professionals, voice teachers, choral directors, and competition winners. I always give you serious vocal technique made simple and fun. Beginning singer mistake number one, under singing, under energized, not letting your voice out. Some of this comes from fear and self-consciousness. I understand that, but you got to get past this because this holding back and holding your voice in is just going to make you tight. Plus, that's not fun. Singing is a release, so you have to be willing to let your voice out freely, even if you don't like the way it sounds, because we can fix your tone quality with technique, but you need to let the voice out or else there's not a whole lot we can do, is there? Beginning singer mistake number two. Thinking of singing as just from the mouth up. You know, that's a very small part of singing. Good singing is a full-bodied athletic activity. It involves the coordination of many different muscle groups. So, the sooner you experience this full-bodied energy, the more easily you'll be able to let your voice out. I have made a special playlist for beginning singers where I tell you what to do and guide you with what to do next. So make sure you study those videos and do the exercises. I'm enclosing the link in the description box. There's a ton of information in that playlist and that should serve as your meat and potatoes or your foundation in your beginning training. So you know I always say that exercises are what will build and train your voice, not your song. And one of my favorite exercises is a simple spoken, energized, ah, and then applied to a five tone scale like this. I'm going to speak ah around the pitch that I'm going to sing. So listen, ah, ah, ah. Did you hear my clear and energized ah? But beginners will often do this. They start out fine, ah, ah, then, ah, and I said, oh, you changed. And then they start laughing. They said, yeah, I did. So let's try this, it's keeping the speech-like clarity and energy of your spoken, ah, into the singing, okay? Higher voices can be here, lower voices can be down there, and it's ah, ah, ah. Here we go, I'll do it with the low voices, ah. Ah, ah, see I can sing low, ah, keep going, okay, and remember, ah, 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 not ah, 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 you have to speak around where you're going to sing, you can feel this, ah, doesn't feel the same as ah, Otherwise, you're not going to get a whole lot out of the exercise, okay? So let's do two more. I'll do it again down here with the low voices. Ah, ah, ah. I'll do it with the high voices. Ah, ah, ah. Now that wasn't hard, was it? Did you see what we did? We took our energy and speech like clarity and applied it to the singing. Now, I say that we don't sing exactly the way we speak, but there are things that must carry over from our speech, such as the clarity and the energy. Now you can do this on the other vowels. What about E? E, E, E. How about O? O, 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 etc. Now why do I keep talking about full-bodied energy? Well. We need a certain amount of energy in order to get those vocal folds to close efficiently. Otherwise, you're going to wind up with a weak voice. All singers must strength train from the very beginning. So 
after you've mastered my playlist for beginning singers, then take a look at my playlist on how to sing with more power. Okay, how to apply to your songs. Let's have some fun. We're going to take the same basic exercise with the words of your song. So what about that song, The Rose by Bette Midler? This song is very popular with beginning female singers. It's got a fairly easy range. So, some say love, it is a river. Some say love, it is a river. You see, I kept that free flow of air and ease that drowns the tender reed. You know how I like to use the hand movements to invite the voice to flow freely. That drowns the tender reed. Did you get that? Some say love. Some say love. Now you'll notice that when I spoke and when I sang, I didn't hold my voice in and I wasn't singing very loud. And my air was moving in a very fine string. See my playlist on breathing and breath support. Okay, what about yesterday by the Beatles? I can sing down there with the men. Yesterday, all my troubles seem so far away. Now, yesterday, yesterday. You see, when you sing, you do want to have the spontaneity of speech. So this is another way these kinds of exercises can help you. Now the next line can be tricky. All my troubles seem so far away. See, did you see how I inflected my voice up because that's where I'm going to be singing. All my troubles seem so far away. All my troubles seem so far away. So if I have someone that's having trouble with this note, so and they're like, so, so, I'll have them stop, stop, and say, so, 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 or trouble seems so, trouble seems so, 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 so. You getting it? Break down your songs like this. It's a little bit more work in the beginning, but your song will sound better faster. All right, in classical, what about Caro Mio Ben? A beautiful art song appropriate for beginning level classical singers. So, if someone's shy, I said, oh, we got to open up that voice. Caro Mio Ben! Caro Mio Ben! Sing! Caro Mio Ben! You see how it sets up the voice freely by speaking it first. Speaking is easy, provided that you're speaking around the same pitch that you're going to sing, provided you let the voice out freely, and then you don't change anything when you go to sing. Let me do it wrong so that you see the importance of this exercise. So if somebody goes, God, oh, you been, and then they sing, God, oh, you been, I say, oh, you changed. So then I'll say, do the spoken part again, and then when you sing, just let your voice out freely in the same way even if you think it won't sound good. So, God of your Ben! God of your Ben! Take every hard part of your song, every hard note, and do this same type of exercise. What about the high note in this song? Chesa! Chesa! And you know what always happens? I'll have a beginning singer and they go, Chesa! Then I say, great. If you can speak it like that, Chesa! at that pitch, you'll be able to model that in your singing. Chesa! Chesa! So you do this in any part of your songs that's giving you trouble. And do this regularly so that you can learn to let your voice out freely. So do you see how the right kind of exercise can help transform your song? So if you still haven't gotten my audio exercise training program, Victoria's Victoria's Vocal Exercise Program, I recommend you do so right away. I have a whole section for beginning level singers. And we work on all kinds of techniques, troubleshoot problems. We work on styles, vocal textures, colors. And it's for beginning singers all the way through advanced. Plus, I do regular group classes with members and 
This includes beginner classes. See the link in the description box below. It is now time for Victoria's Wisdom. Singing is one of the greatest joys in life. Experience your singing as a full-bodied, energized activity from head to toe. I hope you have enjoyed another edition of Victoria's Victoria's Vocal Tips. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell your friends. Leave me some comments. Leave me some thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me on social media and continue training correctly so that you can build a lifetime of healthy singing habits. And I look forward to seeing everyone again very soon.